Right now we're at the uh, torch lift screen. We're able to cycle this in and out. And that gives you the ability to uh, set the uh, torch alignment with the seam and also the height. Our next screen is start delay. Once the arc on signal has been sent to the machine, there is the ability to uh, delay the carriage start until the arc is established and in this case a nice weld pull is developed. Stop delay as well. Once the arc stop signal is sent, there is a delay in stopping the carriage. Um, we have this set to one second. We currently have our weld timer off. We are using our limits to control the distance traveled. And our pass counter is at zero. Next we'll weld the seam up. Uh, it's a piece of stainless material. And that should be it. All right, we're now going to do a test weld with this Jetline seam welder. We're doing a fusion TIG weld process. We're adding no filler material. And let's get started. This is Todd Gordon with Weld Plus. We're going to go over the menus in a Jetline 9627 carriage control. Right now we're on our travel speed screen. We can adjust our weld travel speed by turning that knob. If while welding we choose to have that locked out, one button up takes us to the adjustment lock screen and prevents us from bumping that during welding. Our next screen is torch lift up and down. We're able to cycle the torch so that we can align the torch with the seam and um, adjust our height accordingly. Our next screen is a start delay. Once the arc signal is sent to the power supply, there is a delay available which allows that puddle to establish before we start traveling. Our next is a stop delay. If a downslope is set in the welder, we can send a stop signal but still continue to travel while that arc is going through downslope. Our weld timer is set to off. We are using limits to control our distance traveled and our pass counter is also set to zero. Other buttons on this control are a jog forward and reverse. and our start stop. These will control the process so once we hit that start button we will initiate an arc and this will stop the arc as well. You have an emergency stop available and this is your power on off switch. This concludes the demonstration.